Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. I've got a mega Dodgers injury update coming up in just a second. Blake Trine and Walker Buehler, Dustin May, and more. But first, for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, interviews, breakdowns, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Day. What are your expectations for Dustin May and Walker Buehler when they return from injury? How should they use Dustin May and Walker Buehler? Do you think they need to add another reliever, or do you trust that Blake Trinan and Tommy Canely and guys will come back and the reinforcements will be enough? Let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we've got a big Dodger injury update coming your way, and it kind of feels like every year the Dodgers deal with injuries. It's just a part of the game. It's a part of the sport. It feels like an episode of Squid Game for the Dodgers when their players just start dropping like flies, but they are getting some reinforcements on the way. We do have some good news to report, and today we're going to start with Dustin May. Last week in the Arizona Complex League, Dustin May struck out three batters in over two innings of work, and on Friday, he made his first First rehab start for Oklahoma City. It was his first start coming back from Tommy John surgery, and he ends up going two innings. He allowed three hits, had three walks, struck out three, and gave up one run through 49 pitches, 24 for strikes. Now, he was scheduled to go three innings, but 49 pitches to get through two innings. Now, he did struggle with command at times. He lost the zone against a few batters, but the positives significantly outweigh the negatives because, one, if you look at the velocity, it topped out out at 99 miles per hour and also if you look at the spin rates across the board they were there and then most importantly his arm was feeling good after the start so when you consider the fact that the guy's making his first rehab start in Oklahoma City 14 months after having the injury and undergoing Tommy John surgery that's definitely a step in the right direction definitely a big box checked off so hopefully he continues to progress well in his recovery and the Dodgers get him back at some point in August and as far as how he'll be utilized by the Dodgers, he is being built up to be a starter. But that doesn't necessarily mean you'll see him going north of 100 pitches, going six, seven innings or anything like that. I think when it comes to Dustin May, they're going to maintain that flexibility. If it means piggybacking a start with Tony Gonsolin, Dustin May, or Tyler Anderson, or some of these other guys, I definitely think that's an option. I also wouldn't rule out them using Dustin May out of the bullpen in a key situation at some point. So Dustin May, definitely some good news. Dustin Mania is coming to a ballpark near you. Now, we're going to get into Blake Trine and Walker Buehler in just a second, but a couple quick ones we'll get into. First is Justin Turner. JT, he was pulled from the Dodgers' first game following the All-Star break with an abdominal strain. Dave Roberts said yesterday they don't anticipate he'll need an IL stint, and they hope to get him back at some point in this series against the Washington Nationals. And after a slow start to the season where, yeah, Dodger fans calling him Wash, saying that JT T was cooked. Red turn two really turned back the clock in the month of July. Has a 1,042 OPS in July, slashing 404, 484, 558, two home runs, two doubles, but really showing those bat-to-ball skills and getting on base and getting some big clutch hits. So JT, expect him back at some point this week. And then we've got an update on Christopher Armand Taylor Jr., a.k.a. CT3, a.k.a. Ock Taylor. Chris Taylor he fractured his foot in early July against the San Diego Padres fouled a ball off his foot they didn't think it was that severe but they found out that it was indeed a left foot fracture the Dodgers ended up placing him on the 10 day IL they activated Zach McKinstry well the update on Chris Taylor comes from David Vasse from our friends over at AM 570 he said that Chris Taylor is scheduled to start a rehab assignment next week and the Orange County registers JP Hornstra he said that CT T3 still hasn't been cleared to run, but was spotted doing cardio on the team's Alter G machine. So that's from our friends David Vasse and J.P. Hornstra. So Chris Taylor, he's on the men. It appears that he's not far away. And Chris Taylor really has struggled this season. In the month of June, had a 648 OPS. In July, in seven at-bats, was one for seven. And on the year, he has a career-high 35.4 strikeout rate. So that really comes with a terrible 
territory of Chris Taylor. He's a very streaky player. And look, let's not forget, in the final two months of the season, before he went off Taylor, before he got hotter than the sun's surface, he was hitting 187 for the final two months of the year. And he was eight for his last 72 before the walk-off shot in the wild card game against the Cardinals. So that's the thing about Chris Taylor. You never know when he's going to catch fire because when he does, he goes into God mode. So we'll see what Chris Taylor is able to do for the Dodgers when he returns. Other thing, too, is hasn't been the same versatile player because he had offseason elbow surgery, so they haven't been using him in the infield because they don't like the arm angles. But Chris Taylor, he should be back soon. And it'll be really interesting to see what the Dodgers do in left field because Trace Thompson and Jake Lamb, they've played very well in Chris Taylor's absence. And CT3, he has struggled at times at the plate this season. So will they just throw him in there as the everyday left fielder or will he be coming off the bench? Will they try to use him in the infield later in the season? So those are some big questions. Now, the next guy we're going to talk about is Blake Trinan. We got a Blake Trinan update. The Dodgers top high leverage reliever from last season. He hasn't pitched in three months. He was supposed to return after the All-Star break. And of course, here we are after the break and still no Blake Trinan. But he is making progress. Fabian Ardaya tweeted, Blake Trinan threw a 25-pitch bullpen today. His fifth as he works his way back from a shoulder issue through all his pitches today said the velocity and spin readings came back looking good didn't have much clarity on his timetable Dave Roberts said mid-August was possible and Blake Trine he spoke to the media and he had some really interesting comments he said really good came out really well it was 25 pitches again that's kind of my threshold until I go up down you never really want to throw more than 25 in an inning anyways so I'm practicing right he would go on to say through all my pitches just one misfire when I yanked the four seamer thought everything was commanded really well and good action felt healthy pretty aggressive with my arm not full tilt in my lower half but the velo was really good I was really happy with it now the plan right now is for Trinan to throw another bullpen session this week and he could check off another big box in his return by facing hitters he told reporters I'm not going to speak ahead of anything because you've got to check each day right now obviously you have a blueprint of when I'm supposed to face hitters when I'm supposed to break through a rehab when I'm supposed to come back with the team but there's a blueprint but that doesn't mean it's to the T I just have to check my boxes and focus on getting a good workout coming back tomorrow to do my work seeing how I bounce back and then get ready for the next bullpen so look it's definitely positive news regarding Blake trying it does appear that he is going to pitch again this season based on some people I talked to early in the year after he signed that extension there was some doubt that he was going to get back on the mound for the Dodgers again this season but he's fully expected to give it a go what I'm hearing at some point in the month of August you're going to see Blake trying back for the Dodgers and it's definitely going to impact what they do at the deadline because the deadline is August 2nd they won't see Blake trying on the mound until at some point later in August so the health of Blake trying is going to have a massive impact on the Dodgers bull pen down the stretch and into the postseason look Craig Kimbrell has definitely showed some positive signs recently at the moment his 391 Babbitt leads all major league relievers so he's due for some regression to the mean in a positive way but Blake Trinan he was so valuable as the Dodgers top high leverage guy Dave Roberts could put him in so many different spots against the meat of the order of the posing team you can throw him out there with runners on base the way he can miss bats can generate soft contact so getting him back is going to be huge and then next we've got an update on Andrew Heaney so the Heen dog is expected to be activated off the 15 day injured list for a start on Wednesday and he's made two rehab starts while making his way back from his second left shoulder strain this season in single a Rancho he threw 48 pitches and allowed four runs on six hits while giving up two dingers he was pulled after two and two thirds innings pitched and then five days later in the Arizona Complex League he had a much better show as he struck out eight in over five innings of work. He did allow two more home runs and three singles, though, so he's been giving up hits. He's been giving up home runs, and that really has been the bugaboo for Heaney throughout his career and most recently last season. Just keeping the ball in the yard has been an issue for him. But the Dodgers, they will go to a six-man rotation to help give pitchers some extra rest with the Dodgers set to play 18 straight games coming up. Dave Roberts said the Dodgers will most likely not stick to that six-man rotation rotation all three turns so it's just temporarily through that 
18 straight game stretch. And Dave Roberts told us a few weeks ago that Andrew Heaney could be a guy that you see go out there and start a game, but maybe have a 75 pitch limit, maybe be a guy that piggybacks off another starter later in the season because he has really been hit pretty hard with that injury bug. It's been tough for him to stay on the field. And in what could be the most significant return this season could be Walker Bueller. So the Dodgers ace, the Dodgers opening day starter, he's been on the injured list. He was transferred to the 60-day injured list with that flexor strain injury after an MRI revealed the right-hander sustained a strained right flexor tendon. They required him to refrain from throwing for six to eight weeks. Butane underwent arthroscopic surgery on June 13th to remove a bone spur from his right elbow and he has since been transferred to the 60-day IL. Now, the operation, it didn't impact Bueller's timeline for a return, and the Dodgers, they're still optimistic that he's going to be able to pitch again this season. And Dave Roberts, he told reporters on Thursday, talk to Walker, and everything I hear from the training staff and Walker specifically, everything is trending in the right direction. So to see him back at some point in time in September making a start for us, I think we can be cautiously optimistic optimistic and when asked about Walker Buehler's role when he returned if he would assume his role as a starter Doc said we do I don't think it's going to be a six innings and 90 pitches but if all things go well it should be enough to warn him starting major league games Buehler told Fabian Ardaya of The Athletic the last thing I want to do is go two innings on 40 pitches and have to come out of games I don't want to be a starting pitcher unless I can be a starting pitcher and then when asked about the idea of coming out of the bullpen, he said, that would be fun too. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Take kind of a bird's eye view of this thing and I want to be healthy and contribute for a lot of years. And this year is obviously the most important. So I'm going to do anything I can to get back and contribute as much as I can. Now, the latest on Bueller's on Monday, he started his throwing program that was very light. It was a round of catch at low intensity. So nothing major, but still a major step in his recovery because he's starting to throw. So to me, that's the big wild card because we've seen a diminished effectiveness in his four-seam fastball. Yes, he has other pitches that he can be effective with, but Bueller looked tired. Butane looked like he was out of gas. Last season, he pitched the most innings in all of Major League Baseball by a starter by 13 innings, over 226 innings pitched by Walker Bueller last season. So if he can come back and he can be anywhere close to the lights out start pitcher that he's been the postseason for the Dodgers, that's going to go a long way, especially if they don't make a trade for an impact starter at the deadline. So a lot hangs in the balance of Walker Buehler's health, and it'd be really fun to see him out of that bullpen. It'd be very interesting, but hey, he's such a competitor, and the Dodgers, they're going to find a role for him no matter what, just as long as he is healthy. Now, and then another quick one is Bruce Dark Gradraw, who was placed on the 15-day IL with right shoulder inflammation. He didn't throw over the all-star break but he appears like he'll be returning soon dave roberts told reporters this guy's a strong physical guy we're trying to be cautious with him but i don't see it being too long term it's going to be the tuesday that he's eligible to come off i'd be shocked if that's the case but it shouldn't be much longer the training staff said that he's pain free now so i would assume he'll pick up a baseball soon a couple more of course victor gonzalez and tommy canley danny duffy they're expected to be back at some point in August. So reinforcements are on the way for the Dodgers. Lots of big time town. Look, even if they don't swing a big trade and make a big splash, it's still going to feel like they did make some big trades. If all these guys can come back and even be 80 or 90% of the players that they were before they were injured. But let me know down below in the comment section. I have a question for you guys. Which of the current injured Dodgers do you think will have the biggest impact when they return? And also, how should the Dodgers use Dustin May and Walker Buehler. What are fair expectations? And do you think that Blake Trinan will be the Dodgers closer by the end of the season? Let me know down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, breakdowns, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.